Bow Bomb. Let me get your favorite fragrance. And you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to detonate it. No disrespect, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up. And welcome back to my channel. Today is like I did a pre recorded, like, get ready with me, kind of doing my makeup. It's a fast, like, I'm going through it quickly, but I'll list down the products in the description box. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, we're on the road to 100 subbies, so I'm so excited. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to start my makeup, but can we talk about my skin for a second? It just looks so glowy and good. So we are going to start with my eyebrows. I've been using this NYX Brow Glue. I didn't show y'all, but that's what I've been using. I will say that I'm still learning my eyebrows, but with this specific product, it is hard to use something else with it. So I'm using the elf eyebrow kit to kind of fill it in but it does not work well with the nyx glue like i don't think you're supposed to use anything with this nyx glue it's real greasy so yeah y'all don't mind my eyebrows i'm still working on them okay but let's not judge but after i outline them they end up looking a little better like not too bad so that's why i always outline them and i don't even be worried Y'all gonna get what y'all get, and yeah, that's just how it is. This ain't no tutorial, you know? This is me doing me. Okay, so now I'm going in with my primer, you know, the Fenty Beauty primer, of course. And I'm doing this on my eyes because I'm gonna do an eye look today. And I was a little ashy, so, you know, I had to lotion up. Yeah, I'm sorry. So this is the first color I'm going in with. This is a BH Cosmetics palette that I'm using. And I had this for a while, so I'm just going to blend that in, you know. It's like this brownish color, and then I'm going with this green color. And I was praying that it came out right because, you know, you never know. I didn't want to be looking like I had a black eye. And then the last color is this gold color to kind of blend it together, you know. It definitely looks so pretty. It's giving me a holiday look, but that's okay, because I like it, you know? Green, gold, browns, they all go together. So I'm proud of myself right here, because I'm like, yeah, girl, you did that. <laughs> you did that. Now I'm going to do, you know, the liner. And this is the Lancome. It is so good, y'all, and so black. It's, like, really dark, and I'm praying that I come all right, because... I definitely have my good and bad days with this. And it did. You know, I did a little one. I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much. Because when I start trying to do too much, that's when it be looking crazy. And then I be sad as hell. Because I got to take off all the makeup, you know? So I'm just fixing it up right here. You know, getting it good and ready. So now we're going to go in and prime my entire face because it's time to move on to the foundation. And yeah, I know I'm using my 50 foundation and I am in the color 440. I will say that I do be looking a little orange to me, like the lighten or I don't know, like it just made me like real orange. But I know that this um, foundation oxidized. And then I have my Juvia's Place Concealer that I have been loving. This is thick, but it works well on my skin. Like, so far it has been. And I did something different today. I started, like, blending this as soon as I put it on. I tried with this brush, y'all, but y'all see what's going on. I really tried, and I was like, yeah, no. No, it looks crazy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. And I know I'm not using the right brush, but I tried with a brush. I went right back to my beauty blender. Good old beauty blender and blended that right out. I did not let it sit. I just blended it out just to see, like, if there was a difference, really. Um, trying different techniques to see what works better with my skin and my face, what lasting longer, you know. 
because I'm still learning and experimenting, so why not, you know? And then I have my Fenty Beauty. I also conceal with this. This is in 400. And yeah, I do that on the other places on my face. So, because I don't want it to be too bright. Like, I like a bright under eye, but I want my whole face looking chalky, you know? And then I got my Fenty Beauty contour stick. Y'all know, we love Fenty Beauty over here. So. We definitely support my girl, and her products is good, so why not? Mm, do a little spray after I let that sit, and I'm going to blend this contour in. I ain't a professional. I'm just doing what works for me. So, yeah, this is what I like. Blend, blend, blend. And then we're going to blend in the concealer, okay? Okay. And the skin is looking good. But y'all do, y'all will see when I say that, like, I'm looking orange. Because, like, it has to oxidize, which I've learned with this foundation. That after it sits a while, it will turn, like, a different color. But y'all see it. Y'all see by the end of the video, it'll all come together. Definitely. So, I have this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This stuff works so good. I got it in, I think, like, medium honey deep or something. And I'm gonna know I gotta actually buy it. It's so good, though. Like, I love the way it just brings my entire face together. And it's, like, not ashy. And it's also not too bright. Because, you know, sometimes on black girls, the translucent powders be kind of ashy looking and too bright for us but this like works out perfect i put it everywhere i get very oily and this works really well i just love it i really do i need to go get some because this was a sample size nandy let me try but i need to go buy it for sure i really really do Okay, for the little dance break. Okay, with the TikTok dance. Okay. <laughs> but let me just put this back up because y'all see my bun came out. My bunny bun. I got to take these braids out soon. Now I'm going to just fan my face while well, I was. But now it looks like I'm adding some highlighter on. And I don't know what highlighter this is. It's just like a random one that came in a makeup kit I had. But I was shocked that it looked that good. I was like, wow. Because I love my Rihanna Cognac candy. But Nandi jacked that and took it back to Connecticut. So I ain't got that no more. And lastly is the lips. This is the Juvia's Place in Brownie Lip Liner. And it's so nice. It's so smooth. And we have the Rihanna. Okay, it's so pretty. Did y'all see her new um matte lipsticks? They look so good. I gotta get that MVP one. Because I love matte. I am a matte girly at heart. I love a good matte. And right here, I'm just fixing my hair. I know I gotta take these braids out soon, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear the hell out of this hairstyle because it is so cute. It is so cute. I love it. I've been doing this here stuff since the day I put these braids in my damn head. And you know, I gotta swoop these damn edges or try my best to. Because I ain't the. I don't be swooping like how the girlies do. I just be, whoop. That's it. That's all you getting from me. Whoop. It's a whoop. <laughs> a whoop. <laughs> a whoop. <laughs> Yo, I'm crazy. But yeah, another little TikTok dance break. <laughs> and bam, look. I got my earrings on now. Got my sweater on, some jewelry. Looking cute, y'all. Okay. Okay, Ness. And I totally forgot to put on mascara, y'all. How I should get that? 
But you know, I still look good. Don't even matter. And here I'm just showing y'all like the face and how it just blends so nice. Oh my gosh. And you see, it looks different now. Like it's not as orange. I did not get to close out this video either, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and stay tuned for my next video.